I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we are Two, two Crazy, crazy Ketos. Ketos. This is actually our first vlog on our brand spanking new YouTube channel. Um, our origin story. Our origin story. It's like Wolverine. We're like Wolverine. You love talking about comic books. I, lo I love comic books. I love everything nerd. Yeah. Star yeah, Wars. Do. Of course, I love coffee the most. Is. Yeah, she absolutely loves coffee. She drinks like eight cups a day. Mostly black. So basically, we have made the decision to start a YouTube channel. We've kind of had YouTube stuff before, uh, but we're obviously two crazy ketos. We love uh, the ketogenic lifestyle, the keto lifestyle, and uh, we talk about it so much. People so are always much. asking us about the results we've had and uh, why we do keto, and we kind of needed an outlet so that we stop bothering people so much. Hopefully, yeah. like, you know, be talking to some people who actually want to, to know more or like or hunting you want know, to know more or looking for someone who like thinks in like-minded way yeah and we're i think we're very average people we're average joes see what i did there yeah i see that um but we're pretty average people i'm gonna be i'm gonna be um i'm gonna be 42 this year and i'll be 48 and we have three boys a 21 year old an 18 year old and a 17 year old mm -hmm. and you can probably hear in the background we also have an african gray parrot two cats and a six month old labrador retriever which is also part dinosaur i think so i've been you know heavy my whole life i mean as far as i can remember i mean my earliest memory of being overweight was like in the sixth grade and i remember my mom taking me to the store to buy me a pair of pants and making a comment about the fact that i was like a 36 husky when i was in sixth grade were they corduroy pants they were corduroy pants and that was not the in thing but my mom always bought the cheapest things they sounded amazing when you walked yeah so and through my whole life, my adult life, when I was in high school, I was always the overweight kid. I was always the, I would, you know, lose 20 pounds, gain 30 pounds, lose 10 pounds, gain 10 pounds. And I was like up and down. I topped out at about 285 pounds at one point, I remember. And then, um, you know, and pretty much most of my adult life since, since my oldest son was born, I've been anywhere between... 200 and like 25 pounds up to 285 pounds and i've just kind of over 20 years volleyed back and forth in in that and before this like recently um what was your like comfortable size that you were like all right i'm not doing so bad pretty much i was always like i used if i was a size 38 mm -hmm. i I was still heavy. I was still overweight, but I felt like, okay, I'm it's good. Normal. This is the this is where I'm gonna be. Um, like you felt like you were average. I did. I mean, 38's always been like I'm good if I'm a 38. 40 was my teeter, and anytime I would get up and I'd be like where those 40s could barely button. I'm like, ooh, I better get on a diet. Right. And I'd get on a diet until I can get into a 38 and then be like, okay. I'm done. Good and I would go back and forth. And I've tried every diet in the world. I've tried, um, you know, I did, I did Jenny Craig. Weight I never, Watchers. No, I never did Weight Watch. I did Jenny yeah. Craig. I did just don't eat. I did. Don't eat the don't eat uh, diet. <laughs> tons of workouts. I, you know, you name it. I tried it. I did Nutrisystem when I was in college. So what about you? What about, what is your weight story? Well, I am five foot seven and a half. I want my full, I want that half. I okay. want it in there. Um, and I topped out at like 255, I think was the heaviest that, that I have ever been. And pretty much everything hurt at that point. But at one point, like when you, you were, I remember, I mean, like f five years ago, you were 255 and you dropped over a hundred pounds. I did. On, like in six months or so. And that was something that, I, I mean, I was doing low fat, low calorie, like almost no calorie. You were eating oatmeal. Like oatmal. I was pretty Breakfast, much. Breakfast, lunch, and dinner. It was kind of like like any of those diets where you're just focusing on one thing like cabbage soup diet or a grapefruit diet or you know where you're just eating one something like that is so not sustainable yeah i know you eventually kind of started getting back to eating regular food I and did. then and, and slowly then, put about what 30 40 pounds well, back on well what was crazy was yeah i started eating just allowing myself some more 
variety, still low calorie, still high carb. And I started gaining weight pretty significantly. So then I reined it back. I think it was 150 calories a serving three times a day. So what's that? Three, four, wait, that's like four, fifth day. And you were still gaining weight. I was gaining weight on 450 calories. Like how is that even possible? Wow. And that was it. I wasn't cheating. I was, you know, I was very disciplined on it because I, I didn't want to go back to 255, but I was slowly going up the scale. Okay. It was like every, I mean, now we're finding out that that totally made sense because everything I was eating you was eating getting, sugar. I was eating sugar. You were eating plain oatmeal with nothing on it, no it dairy, no sugar. And storing but in my body like technically that. Technically you were eating sugar. It was just storing yeah. fat in my body. Yeah. So why did you start the ketogenic diet? I will honestly admit that I started the keto diet or the keto lifestyle to lose weight. I had gotten up, I was about 265 pounds 18 months ago, and I was going up and down and up and down, and I was actually had gotten into a weight loss bed at one point. I was doing CrossFit, and I had tried Atkins years ago, and I had success on it, but then I, as soon as I ate some carbs, I ballooned back up, yeah. and I felt I found it wasn't sustainable because it taught me, at least at the time, to add carbs back, back in eventually. In gradually, right. And so I said, well, you know what? I'm going to give a no carb. I started researching and I, I decided I'm going to give a no carb lifestyle a try. And so, I, like I said, I started about 18 months ago and I had a tremendous amount of success and I lost about 80 pounds over six months. And then I know... What happened with, for me at least, where I made it a lifestyle was, uh, I remember Christmas, I said, well, I, originally my entire goal was lose the weight and then start incorporating a little bit of carbs, but I liked the way I felt, so I would like maybe do carbs one day a week. The so bread. that was originally my goal was to eat it like once in a while. And so what happened was Christmas time, I said, well, I'm not gonna go nuts, but I'm gonna have like a half a piece of pie and I had like a spoon of macaroni and cheese along with my regular keto dinner. And I felt like garbage for a week. Yes. I went through like the keto flu all over again. And I will tell you that the one thing about when I started this diet, this was the first diet in my entire life. And like I said, I'm 48 that I never cheated on other than that Christmas day. Because of I was terrified of going keto. through the keto flu again. Of course, now we know that there are measures that you can I didn't take. know at the time. When I started the keto lifestyle, to not I, I was completely, I was, I was learning effects. it as I went. I yeah. was watching YouTube videos, but I had already started it. So, like, I had never seen anything on, like, replacing electrolytes to prevent some of the keto flu effects. Potassium. I just knew I was going to go through it. Yeah. Yeah, so at that point I decided, you know what, I am making this a lifestyle. I feel too good eating low carb. Mm -hmm. What about you? What made you start? I mean, I know when I first started, you tried it, but then quit. I did. I first started on it because I wasn't having success just eating oatmeal. And I knew that watching you eat all of these delicious foods was just gonna make me mad. I knew it. I knew that I you mean, were just, you really tried it because you were like, there was no way you were gonna let me yeah. sit there and eat bacon and you can't eat it. He's getting bacon <laughs> and steak and, and chicken wings and like all kinds of delicious food. And so I, I thought- I did try to not eat it in front of you. I know, which he actually did. That was very courteous of you. But I thought for the sake of our marriage, let me just go on this with him and see what happens. And you quit within a month. I did, and the reason why was I, I wasn't gaining any weight, which was a miracle in itself because I was eating more calories than oatmeal calories. I wasn't gaining any weight, but I wasn't losing any weight, and we've since learned that it was because... You were cheating. I was cheating. Now, you weren't cheating on carb foods no like you weren't well you weren't going and eating candy bar and, no, and that kind of stuff but i was eating way too many snacks like a lot of nuts so you were cheating on extra cheese keto food i was cheating on keto food and there's a lot of hidden calories oh, i don't even know about cream the calories. cheese it was the hidden carbs and the, that's the one i'm thing. sorry i meant hidden carbs yeah i mean that's the one thing and, and we're going to do a video about it but that's the one thing is there are hidden carbs and i know you were like 
grabbing a handful of nuts every once in a while yeah. and before you knew it you were probably and we never really counted it you were probably eating 30 40 carbs a day easily. in nuts easily easily and like beef jerky and and things that were you know very heavily processed and oh quest bars but like a, but like too a many a lot of them too yeah. many yeah. um so once we um once the year passed christmas passed and i, I was ready to get serious um, I happened to fast the month of January. Um, and so then... No, you didn't fast to lose weight. No, I didn't. I, that, that was just to kind of recenter. We're, we're Christians. We're actually we're, pastors, we're children's, children's pastors. pastors. And, um, I just kind of wanted to, to tie the beginning of, of this new year. Um, because the one thing I think people who struggle with weight do is they obsess a lot about food. You're, you're either thinking about when you're going to eat next, you're thinking about the food you're preparing currently, or you're thinking about, you know, uh, what you're going to be grocery shopping. And I just didn't want to think about food at all. And I think that's one thing that we have been pretty successful at is kind of going from the mindset of living to eat to eating to live. And we yeah. enjoy the food we eat. But we're not living to eat. I, I remember we used to live to what's the next meal. You know, I mean, there were days I can remember Sundays where we would binge and we would go to an all you can eat buffet for breakfast. Yeah, we could put it away. And then we would come home and we would eat lunch and then we would order like Outback for dinner. Like each of us having our own Blooming Onion. We, like and we would plan that like the week ahead. Like how are we going to gorge on Sunday? I feel like we missed our window for like um, competitive eating. Yeah. I think we could have made some serious... Cashola. So you went through, and I remember coming to you, you, you were doing your fast in January, and I said, well, you're pretty much in ketosis anyway since you're fasting. Let's give yeah. this a try since you're obviously able to go without eating for 30 days. Th there's a there's a big, in, like a myth busted right there because there was 30 days of no food. And the only and thing you were die. eating was you were eating like one nutritional shake a day, like yeah. 300 calories. Yeah. Just to give yourself some vitamins. Just the stuff. vitamin side, but not like. But no food. Yeah. So um, in February, like I thought, let's just do this. Let's do it right. We've tried to educate ourselves way more. We, we practice intermittent fasting. I think that has done amazing things for us um i do not snack in between meals i do i yeah. here and there not not overly snack but i don't have a problem so much of like having a a few almonds or something like that we, you know let's talk about what kind of results we've had so yes. my I, when i started the keto lifestyle i was like 269 pounds mm -hmm. and i was a size 44 pants mm -hmm. and we'll put a picture up yeah i was a size 44 pants and I am now, it's been almost, I guess, about almost 18 months. And I am 200, I, I'm, I'm not 200. I, it's so used to my whole life, I, I like, said yeah, 200. 200. I'm 180 pounds and I have a size 30 inch waist. That's awesome. Which is, I, I don't know if I've ever been a 30 inch waist since like grade school. It's kind of fun to be the same size as my 18 year old. That's pretty awesome. So, and what about you? What What are your results? Now, and we'll go back to just when you started in, in January, cause you yeah. were up and down. Yeah. So just when you started when in I January. When I started in January, uh, no, February. February, February when I When I started in February, I was 170 mm -hmm. and I was a size 10. Okay. Like. Eight to ten. You know, every single piece of clothing is different. Right. But um, mostly ten. And that was my, like, I'm okay, I'm average size. That that was my comfortable size. You looked good. Yeah. I, thank you. Um, so now it is July. Mm -hmm. End of July. And I am 139 and I am in a size zero or double zero, depending on... Clothes. That's not a lot of weight to go that many sizes. It isn't when, and I can tell you that no. I had a time where I literally dropped two sizes in two pounds. I so, would say and most, that's one thing that people need to remember on the keto lifestyle is that you may. I'm gonna t and this is a problem that we have. Throw out your scale. Yeah. Throw it out and measure because, like, I can tell you, she would get completely frustrated. She's like. I haven't lost one pound, and I'm like, but you went from a size eight to a size four. Yeah. But I haven't lost a pound. But you went from a size eight 
to a size four. I think to even, throw out the scale. We need to throw out our scale. We do because it's still frustrating for me sometimes. Because honestly, I think most people hear one thirty nine on a on a girl. That does not sound like a skinny rail. Right. That does that doesn't. A one thirty nine sounds like a, a beginning weight for some people. Right. But um, the the thing is, is that. I found that the weight comes off in very strategic places. Usually where you have these big concentrates of fat deposits. So it was like my belly, my butt, my face. Yeah. So it's come off. Well, I think that's a good place for us to conclude today's vlog. And we'll do some other ones. Like I said, we're going to do some shopping at some local stores, some deals. Um, we, we love going to the local grocery stores I would say and finding weird things. I like that. And, and we're definitely cheap. Well, thrifty, right? Yeah. Thrifty. So we are definitely planning a video on how to live keto on a budget. Yeah. Cause we're, and I mean, healthily. We're, not, and, not eating. And we're eating chicken legs tonight. That is a pretty cheap yes. dinner. Yeah. Honestly. So, and speaking of which, I'm ready to go eat. Me too. Okay. Till next time. Bye. If you also want to be a crazy keto, don't forget to favorite, like, and subscribe to this video. Thank you.